I've always seen design as a thought, a dream, or a concept that has continually evolved, not a static single point in time representation of a model consisting of loss, fillets, and extrusions, drawings. Design is a process, it's not an end. It's a continual evolution of thought that must be captured and effectively communicated. In essence, design is only as useful as the designer's ability to capture and communicate a concept. Now I'm hitting the road to see how our customers are utilizing Autodesk technology to turn concept into reality. Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Cohey, Manufacturing Evangelist for Autodesk here in Sarasota, Florida, meeting with the 2010 Autodesk Inventor of the Year, R&D Automation. R&D Automation and Engineering is Florida's premier custom machine builder. They engineer, design, and manufacture custom automation and material handling machinery for industries ranging from hydraulic valves to contact lenses. And with 20 years in the industry, they have developed a reputation of industry-leading innovation and exceptional customer service. I've had the fortune of personally knowing Sean Dotson, the president of R&D, for several years. But even before I had a chance to personally meet him, I know of Sean when I myself was an Autodesk customer through his very popular NCAB Forums website, where his reputation in the Autodesk community as a staunch advocate of Autodesk products made him a bit of a celebrity in these circles. And what may not be as well known in the community is that Sean is one of the most vocal when things are well askew, if you will. Sean is by no means a fanboy. He's a realist, and he gives it to us when he feels we deserve it with as much passion and as quickly as he is to advocate for us when he feels the product is being misrepresented. And quite frankly, he's helped us make our products better. And announcing that R&D Automation was a 2010 Inventor of the Year was, in my mind anyway, a long overdue recognition for their work in the community. Despite having a long partnership with R&D, I had yet to have the opportunity to see much of the work they've done over the years. Not for lack of wanting or asking, it's that R&D's customers see the work that Sean and team do for them as a significant competitive differentiator. And more often than not, R&D isn't even allowed to show off their work, let alone get into the technical details of what it is and how it works. So meeting up with the team to see what makes them unique was something I've wanted to do for a long time. Sean introduced me to Aaron Lane, one of R&D's engineers, to show me how he utilizes Autodesk Inventor to solve the unique engineering challenges that are presented to them, and how they repurpose that digital prototype for strength and motion analysis, do design views with customers, and of course create production drawings and assembly drawings. You know, the drawings are so complete that Darren, who we'll meet later, is able to program his PLC program and controls designs before they even start assembling the physical model. After passing along a few user tips to Aaron, I met up with Doug Robertson, Vice President, to see what he believes makes a small business have such a tremendously positive impact for their customers. And for Doug, it all boils down to customer service. Having a clear understanding of a customer's objectives at every level, they're able to craft custom solutions that can be quantified at increased production levels for the CEO or improved quality for manufacturing and a safer, more efficient working environment for the operators. Doug also gave me a glimpse of what's in the future for R&D. In addition to their custom offerings, Doug and team plan to launch a standard product line aimed at maintaining constant revenue and drive overall growth for R&D, and he believes that the use of Autodesk technology is going to help them differentiate their products in a competitive market. And finally, I met up with Darren Nickel, Senior Controls Designer for R&D. Now, I normally don't get a chance to meet up with too many Sparkies in the industry, but I had to hear about how he's able to build his programs, controls layouts, and PLC before they even start assembling the physical components. He showed me that by having access to the 3D model and the drawings early, they're able to shave a few weeks off the assembly and debugging process, allowing them to hit an astonishing 99.999 on-time delivery record. And let me tell you folks, that's impressive in any industry, especially the custom automation world. Check out the full-length playlist on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Rob I'll see you next time.